We'll do that two more times. Big inhale, base of your feet all the way up to the crown of your head. Exhale, release. Lastly, one more time. Big inhale, base of your feet. Let it travel all the way up to your knees, to your hips, to your belly, to your heart, to your eyes, to the crown of your head. Take one more sip at the top. And exhale, slow breath out. Now, as we start to begin, let's start to close our eyes if we haven't already. I just naturally tend to go there. So eyes are closed. Allow that breath to build again. So base of your feet, slowly traveling up towards your knees, almost giving like a loving awareness to all the little parts of your body, all the way up to the crown of your head, taking another sip at the top, hold that sip. And then this time, keeping your mouth closed, let's exhale through the nose. So now breathe again, same way, right? Building it all the way up from the base of our feet holding at the top for a moment, and then exhale out the nose. When we exhale out of our nose, we tap into our parasympathetic nervous system. That's our ability to relax, and that's what we want to do. We want to relax and have fun and be in our body and connect our heart to our mind. So another breath like that. And exhale, slow out the nose. Now. The first thing that happens when we come into this world is our heart starts to beat even before our brain develops. So we want to connect to that space. As we inhale and exhale, feel the energy transfer from our hands between our belly and our heart. Bring an awareness of your sense of, of touch, your sense of feeling, what it's like to be in your internal and external environment today without judgment, just an awareness, right? The more aware we become of our internal and external environment, the more conscious we can make a shift. And that's where we're here today. Take another breath in, take in your awareness of your sense of sound. Obviously my voice, but maybe something bigger, maybe you're outside, maybe the birds are chirping. Heightened sense of awareness. Bring in your sense of smell and taste. And lastly, take a big breath in with your sense of sight. Close your eyes, see if you notice a color or maybe a light coming in. And then lastly, take one last big breath in and try and layer all five senses together. That's awareness, sixth sense, intuition, creativity, ability to be in this present moment. Fill it all up, all up, all up. And then exhale, let your palms fall down by your sides. Take a big shoulder roll and then slide your hands down your spine. Start to arch almost like a standing cow cat. So we're going to roll up so. So creative movement is often a term that's used for children so that it's not so rigid. So that's what we're actually starting today. This moving meditation is a way to tap into our conscious creative our ability to come into this place of movement sort of in an adolescence place, letting go of any stories and allowing ourselves to just move without some final destination. It is a gift. Take out of the shoulders, start to take the weight from the backs of your heels, tips of your toes, outer and inner arches of your feet. And then start to kind of like as if you're growing your limbs, right? Reaching out super big, all the way, all the way, all the way. Big stretch, and then start to reach up to the sky. Big stretch up, yes, reach, reach. And then I want you to think about something you can bring into your environment, right? Something you can bring into that space that you're currently living, right? Internally or externally, a little more patience, a little more joy, a little more creativity, start to pick up the pace, right? Think about something you can bring into your state, into your vibration, bring it in. And then sharing is caring, so I'm going to share it with you. It's almost like we're taking it in and sending it out. It's up, up, and out, out, right? So all areas of our aura, up, up, out, out, whoo, up, up, out, out. Yeah, there we go, up, up, whoo, bring it in, bring it out, up, up, out, out. You got it, you got it. Good, last one, and right here, just let the heels tap and kind of take your arms and just open up your heart. 
think about this as like your clearing space to create space, right? So the idea is when we can clear, we can allow things to come in, right? So what do we need to let go of to let something in? Let the weight of your heels tap on the floor. Find this inner beat, right? Okay, for four, three, two, we want to take those big shoulder rolls. Woo! Take a big breath in. Blood's starting to get going, right? Starting to wake up this morning. All right, we're going to bring something in and send it out to our neighbors. Here we go. Let's go. In, in, out, out. Yep. In, in, out, out. This idea that we can take movement and actually connect with some meaning to it gets a greater return, right? So it's not mindless, it's mindful, but it's not rigid. It's fluid, it's flowy, it's gooey, it's yummy, it's delicious. <laughs> Here we go. Keep it up. Seven. Ooh. So the repetition becomes the release. Think about it. The more you practice something, the less time you spend thinking about it, the more time you just do it. So we want to get to that place nice and easy right here. Let the heels tap, clear space. Big breath in. If you need a moment right now, hand on body, take a big breath in right here. And then I want your feet to kind of come together like a nice boxer shuffle, right? Nice and easy. Ooh. So we kind of want to feel this like visceral guttural feeling, right? all the way up from our feet to the crown of the head, letting it kind of shake out a little bit. Boom, you can even flutter your lips, right? You can make noise if you need a little morning scream, let it happen. Yo! Here we go. Now I want you to think about something that keeps you stagnant, right? So you know fight or flight. So it's usually fight, flight, or freeze, right? We're either running it from it, we're either trying to fight it, right? Resisting it. Or maybe we're frozen, right? Maybe we're feeling a little stagnant. I want you to think of this opportunity as a way to shake off what's blocking you from being able to move forward. And whatever that is, I want you to shake it off with me right now. Three, two, one, let's go. Shake it off. All right? Move the feet really fast, right? Woo! Let the feet, balls of the feet, let the booty shake. Lift your heart. 15 seconds. There we go. Awesome. You got eight, six, four, three, two. Tap it out, hand on body. Big breath in. You should be a little more awake, a little more alive. Yeah? A little tap of the feet. Whew. So again, fight, flight, or freeze. We're going to shake off anything that's holding us back from where we need to go. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, so heart rate's high, you're breathing. If you're with someone you love, stare at them. See if we can go lower. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then we tap it out. Yes, yes, yes. Then we actually give a little clap, right? Woo! Yes, it's a good day to be alive, right? This is a gift to be able to share with you. So honored, so happy. Eight, six. All right, now feet together. I want you to think about this. Throw something out, right? Think about that <laughs> Yep. Think about your aura, your vibration, right? Because what's happening is by being just who you are, you're an inspiration to those around you by being in your most vibrant self. Three, two, one, tap it out. Hand on body. Feet together, big arm. Now take a little, like, you know, you're in your mood. You're in a groove, right? Tap of the feet. Now, if you got a power song, go ahead, put it on your stereo right now. Put it on your 
speaker. Think about that power song that lights you up, yep. I want us to start to think about something we can celebrate, right? Maybe it's that you got eight hours of sleep last night. Maybe it's that awesome cup of coffee you get to have. Maybe it's because you're moving with me right now. We're gonna take a little side to side. Ooh. Push through. Yes. Move, move, move. Yep. So it's like you're leaping over your obstacles. Yep. Smoothing it out. Brush strokes right here. Smoothing out the kinks. Starting to get pumped. Eight. Six. Four. Three. Two. Let's step it out. Here we go. And I want you to start to move them around, right? Think about that thing you can celebrate. Maybe it's a person, maybe it's a thing, maybe it's an environment where you are. Whoop, whoop. If we don't celebrate, we don't have the momentum to keep going, to stay in this work. Woo. Maybe out of here, tell us, right? <laughs> there you go, there you go. Four, three, two, one, have it up. So I want you to think about the step back as a moment of reflection, yeah? So we have to take those moments to step back, to reflect, in order to propel our steps forward, right? Woo! Bring whatever you need in. This is your time. We're starting our day. Highest vibration we can. Let's go. Tap the feet, tap the feet. Get on body if you need. If you're with someone, Look at each other, smile, let's dance, let's celebrate this beautiful life we have. Let's go. Whoop, whoop. Yep. Whoop. Yes. Now give it up, give it up. So when we appreciate the add value, right? So find some appreciation, add some value. Woo! Three, two, one, big inhale. Oh, hand back to your body. Just take a gentle step out. Come back to your breath. Now a few exhales out the mouth, it's all good, but when you can, in through the nose, out through the nose. Feel that vibration, feel that breath even bigger now through our hands. And then take the arms, take a little up, down. So this is the way I like to finish. This could be the beginning of your yoga practice. This could be the beginning of just your day, right? On to the next. But I love this moment right here. I like to channel that kind of energy where everything that seems too big to carry on my own shoulders, I give it up to something bigger, right? I give it up to source. And all the little stuff, the stuff that doesn't matter, the stuff that doesn't serve, just drop it by the wayside, yeah? Eyes can be closed or open. Stay in this repetition becomes released, right? The more we surrender to that shift, because the world needs your peaceful self, not your perfect self, right? Find that peace. Breathe it in. Let it go. Amazing. And three more. Two. back to your body as if we began all over. Take one full breath in. And exhale, grace and gratitude and appreciation. I'm going to step my feet together for more events by Mind Body Social. Visit wildsofloat.com. My name is Ashley. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste, everybody. Have a good one. Take care. Thank you.